Hello friends, as usual, it's a pleasure to spend time with you. This is Shelly from Koala Knits and Knacks, and thank you for clicking on this tutorial. We are going to make these uh, beautiful houndstooth dishcloths. Now they um, can be used as dishcloths, they can be used as face cloths. Literally 100% cotton on your face is so, so soothing. Like it's a great thing to wash your face with um, and your body with, or they can be used as hot pads. Um, whatever you choose to make them for, you're gonna love this, uh, this pattern. Um, I used Bernat 100% cotton yarn, Bernat Handicrafter yarn. Um, the green one is called emerald. Uh, the rose one is called French rose. Now that French rose one, I'll tell you a little later into the video too, is, is um, an older ball. So you may not be able to find one um, that's exactly that name, but you will. They have so many beautiful colors um, in their yarn and you just need one ball of each. Um, and I, one ball of white for both of these claws and your five millimeter crochet hook. So it's a wonderful project. It's a quick workup and just so beautiful. All right, so I'm going to begin with my emerald color, okay? And we're going to put a slip knot. So make a circle just like that. Put your hook in the circle, grab that end, pull it like that, and that's how I make my slip knots, okay? We're going to chain up an odd number of chains. So when I chain, okay, you're gonna yarn over, pull it through the loop on your hook. I do my foundation row um, looser than I would say do do the rest of the project. I like to have a looser tension on my foundation row. So that way when, when I'm working up on my project, my um, outside row, my bottom row um, is not all tight and, and pulling, but I have a nice smooth, soft uh, flow to the edge, okay? I'm going to chain up 31 chains and that's going to give me um that's going to give me a, a dishcloth that is nine and a half inches wide if you prefer to have one that is not quite so wide then then um you can do 29 stitches or 27 um keep it an odd number of stitches you need to um to do an odd number okay but i wouldn't go much lower than 27 for me, 29 um, or 31 is perfect, and, and my go-to is generally 31. I like a nine and a half inch width um, on my crochet um, dish claws, okay? So keep going till you get 31 chains on your hook, and I will see you back. Okay, so there we go. We've got our foundation row of 31. What we're going to do now is we're going to um, single crochet into that second chain from the hook. You never count the one on your chain on your hook. So one, two, Insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You've got two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through both. That's your first single crochet. Then in the next chain, you're going to do a double crochet. Yarn over, go into that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now I'm going to tell you, if you're a new crocheter, sometimes your, your habit is to pull it up till it just comes out of that little stitch, and then you're going to yarn over and work your crochet um, stitch. But rotate your hook so that your three, your three, um, rows there or, or loops there are all the same height and then you're going to have a beautiful piece. If if you keep this, this uh, if you do it really close to the stitch you're going to have like a funny looking stitch and your work's going to be tight and it's going to be wonky and you're not going to be happy with it so <laughs> always make sure that the three bars on your hook even when you're doing a single crochet which is what we're going to do into the next one single don't keep it tight like that to your stitch bring it up so it's in line with this one in the same height yarn over go through that's a single crochet Next one is a double crochet, yarn over, go into that chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, bring it up to the same height, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, and go through two. And we're going to repeat that all the way down our row, making sure we do not twist our foundation row. Okay, we're gonna do single crochet, and then a double crochet, all the way across. Single crochet, double crochet, okay? So when you uh, get to the end, Leave out your last double crochet and we will work um, the next part together, okay? So single crochet, double crochet, all the way down the row. Okay, so I made it down um, and I went and put a, a stitch marker in that first single crochet that we did. Um, I, I generally, for this particular project, don't need it, but if you need it, then go ahead and put it in your first one. After you do your first single crochet, your second, or then your next double crochet and your next single crochet, then just count back and, and put it in there. It's just so you can get the right stitch, okay? Um, because that's the one we want to always end in on the end of our row. We are going to begin our row with a single crochet 
every time. <laughs> and we're going to end our row with a double crochet every time. So that way, you know, if, if you um, did a single crochet at the end of the row and you think you're done, you know you're not done because you have to end with a double crochet. And if you have absolutely no space to do your double crochet, then you know you've done something wrong along the uh, along the way. So you should have 15 single crochets, 15 double crochets, okay? So now, um, I told you not to do that double crochet and I just automatically went ahead and did it, but I shouldn't have because it's not right. Okay, so we're going to grab our second color of yarn and we're going to go into that last stitch as a double crochet, go in, yarn over, pull up a loop. Okay, you've got three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over, you're going to go through two loops only. Then you're going to drop that green thread, okay? Just behind there, you're gonna grab your second color, which is my white, okay? You're going to put that behind, you're gonna hold it with your finger, and we're going to finish that double crochet with white. So we're gonna yarn over, and we're going to pull it through that stitch to finish that double crochet, okay? That's how you change colors. Then we're gonna yarn over and chain one, just like that, okay? Then you're gonna turn your work like a book. We're going to carry our yarn in this project because, um, then you're not going to have to, you're not going to have, usually that's not so knotted, but it's snagged there. And I tighten that up. If you, if you can tighten this up a little bit to, to tighten that hole, then go ahead. Um, I, I snagged something there, so it's not working. So I'll just have to fix that later, but, um, you're going to carry your yarn. So now that you have this green one in the front, okay, you're going to put your hook underneath that yarn. You're going to go into that first stitch, just like that. You're going to yarn over and you're going to do a single crochet. You're coming under both of those, um, under the stitch and under that working yarn. Okay. And you're going to single crochet just like that. Okay. Then you're going to take this green yarn and you're going to put it to the back of your work. Okay. Just like that. And we're going to just work over it. Okay. So we're going to see how that's, that's trailing there. And I'm just going to hold it with my third finger there. I'm going to yarn over. And I'm going to go into that next stitch and I'm going to do a double crochet. Okay, so now next one, carry that down with me, yarn or go into that stitch, single crochet. Now that I've done three stitches, I can count back easily. I'm going to take my stitch marker. I'm going to put it in that little single crochet just like that. So I know where to go and there's one in the other side. So I know where I'm going to stop. Okay, and we're going to continue our pattern. So that was a single crochet. I'm going to do a double crochet yarn over go into that next stitch and you'll see this end is on top of the hook okay that way it works in and you're going to do a double crochet now you might be thinking why would i carry all those yarn ends because it's going to be such a waste of yarn but let me tell you you're only you're, you're not working stitches with it you're just carrying it in a straight line across so really do that 10 times and that's all the yarn you're using that you're that you're wasting and really it's in my opinion it's not a waste because it's strengthening your dishcloth you have an extra row of of cotton there which is going to make it even the more strong so um that's just what i would encourage you to do you can you can yarn off uh end off and cut your yarn in and then sew in all the ends <laughs> if you like um but really all those ends are going to add up too so just carry it along just like this and uh and you will just be so much happier. Trust me, when you don't have all those ends to, to, to sew in, you're gonna, you're gonna thank me. Um, <laughs> and you're welcome. My pleasure. <laughs> okay, so single crochet and double crochet all the way down to the end. And when you get there, I'm gonna do another crochet, um, another color change with you. Okay, my friends? All right, I'm carrying that as I go. It's not a problem. All right, see you when you get to the end. All right, so I'm down at the end. I have my stitch marker there. I know that um, I end every row on a double crochet and if there's only one stitch left and I just did a single crochet, then I've done it right. <laughs> so I'm gonna yarn over. I'm gonna go into that stitch. I'm gonna yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, just through two. I can take this stitch marker out now, okay? You're gonna drop your white. And every once in a while, you have to, or after every row, you should just cross your balls over on the floor so that you're not going to get a twisted mess, okay? So every time you drop one color, 
um, just cross over your ball on the floor so you don't you don't get a mess. Okay, so now I'm going to drop the white there. I'm going to just get some slack on there. Drop the white there. I'm going to pick up my green. I'm going to hold this in the back just with my fingers so that my stitches are nice and, and even. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to finish off that double crochet with my new color and I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work. Okay, turn my work. Then my old color is in the front for the first stitch only. It's in the front. I'm going to go under it because I want it on the top of my hook. I'm going to go into that first stitch, yarn over, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through. Okay, nope, that's not right. All right, so I'm at the end of the row. I have one stitch left because that's where my stitch marker's in and I know I always have to end on a double crochet. So if this last stitch that I did was a single crochet, then I'm right because I need to do a double crochet in the last stitch. So I'm going to start my double crochet Yarn over, go through two. I have two left on the loop or on the hook. Okay, I'm going to now switch out my yarn. I'm going to take my new color and I'm going to yarn over and finish off that double crochet with that new color. I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to turn my work like a book. Okay, then we know that this is our first stitch right there at the base of, of our chain. Okay, this is... I want that to be snugger, okay? So we want to carry this, this white yarn. So we're gonna go underneath it, into that stitch. And we're going to single crochet, just like that, okay? Then we're gonna just place it in the back there and we're gonna continue on our pattern. Double crochet next. Single crochet next. Now make sure that you, um, that you cross your balls over on the floor every once in a while because they will twist as you keep changing colors and and um, crisscrossing your colors okay and so you just don't want to mess on the floor so I just did four so I'm going to go put that in my single crochet so that I know where the last stitch is when I come back the other way and I'm going to continue my pattern single crochet double crochet single crochet double crochet all the way down the row I'm going to always end with my double crochet and then I'm going to finish off that double crochet with the with the next color and I'm going to change rows. Um, man, I've got some wonky stitches here. I'm gonna have to fix that too. Sheesh, <laughs> see it happens to all of us. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to finish this row. I'm going to do one more color change with you and then I'm gonna set you free, <laughs> okay? All right, so that houndstooth pattern is looking beautiful. I just love it. Okay, so now we're at the end and we know we always end on a double crochet so I'm going to take that out I'm going to begin that double crochet then I'm going to drop the green pick up the white finish off that stitch okay just like that chain one turn my work okay then I want to pick up this yarn go under it into that first stitch we're going to single crochet then double crochet and we're going to follow our pattern all the way along just like that you're going to do um, for me um, I do let me see uh, 11 rows of the of the emerald or whatever my my main color is I do 11 rows of that and I do 10 rows of the white so 21 rows all together let me just grab one that I've done in a different color okay um, I'll be right back I'll talk to you as I'm going I got this um, little ball of yarn actually I'm gonna tell you at a secondhand store and it was an old ball <laughs> There was a package of about four different um, balls and they were like honestly vintage because the packaging you can't even get. This is called French Rose um, and uh, I don't think you can even get this color anymore. You'll have to look but it's absolutely gorgeous. But I started, here's my foundation row, then I've got my first um, row um, here of, of the French Rose and then white, rose, white all the way up and I end with the French Rose because I think it just, it borders it better. Like 
I just, I, I just, that's how I do all my um, houndstooth dishcloths. Whatever color I start with is what I end with. I don't feel that I need to do a, um, a border around the sides. I think it takes away from it. So I always just, um, just end the top the same way, same color as I've done the bottom. And then it's done. Like, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? I have crocheted so many dishcloths in my life, <laughs> as I'm sure you have. Um, but this particular stitch is so beautiful. Now, stick with me to the end of the video because I'm going to show you how I package these to sell, okay? And I'll show you that at the end of the video. But um, for now, you're going to continue on with your piece until it measures... Um, as high as you want it and again I did 11 rows of the green and, and 10 rows of the white and then when I get to the very top I will um, come back and I will finish it off with you all right have fun my friends okay so I'm at the top I cut off my white yarn about there because it trailed um, three quarters of that row and it's hidden and I don't uh, I'm not going to change colors again so I've already fastened that off um, I'm going to go ahead and do my single crochet here my last double crochet into that stitch. Then I'm gonna yarn over, pull it through that loop, cut it off to fasten. Then I'm gonna hide that end. I already hid the one on the other end. I'm gonna hide this end and there we have it. Aren't they just beautiful? Like I just love them. I think that this houndstooth stitch is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so there you have it, my friends. Stick with me and I'm going to show you how I package it next, okay? All right, so if you go online into to Google or your search engine, type in um, printable free crochet labels and you'll get this one um, will pop up. That's the only way I can tell you how to find it. Um, and uh, it comes with, with, I think, four or five different sayings. This one says crochet goodness, handmade with love. Some just say handmade with love. I think one says crochet goodness. I, there's a few different sayings on there. But then I go and I buy this this um, thicker paper from from uh, the craft store, from whatever wherever you decide to get it. Um, and I cut it down to the size of a regular piece of paper that goes through your printer. What is that? Nine and a half by 11 or whatever that is. I cut it down to that size and then I, I just print on it and then I cut them. I cut them. There's little there's little dots that are, are um, a line that goes that separates all the different ones, and you just cut along that line. Get yourself your little um, package, and then what I do is I take my dishcloth and I make sure that the top is is showing. I didn't cut that end off very well. Um, I'm gonna cut that off. I make sure that the right side is out so that I'm going to I'm going to put it on the right side and the right side is because I this this um nice side of the single crochet at the, or of the edging at the top is nice. I fold that in half and then in half again there so it both meets the center. Then I fold one over the other. It just looks like that, okay? And then I do that same thing with the other one making sure that uh this is the wrong side. And really all of the stitching there is no wrong side. It's just that top edging, okay? And then I do the same thing, fold it like that, then I put them together. Both of these were the foundation rows, so I want this to be the top. Detail is everything, or is that the foundation row? Let me just see here. Yeah, that was the foundation row. So this, this is the top row that you, that you um, knit, and I'm going to take that little wrapper, I'm going to put it on top, and turn it over. I'm going to take some tape, literally scotch tape. I'm going to tape it so it's longer than this piece because then I flip it under. I don't want I don't want those edges snagging and then tearing before it gets into the hands of the person it's going to, okay? And then there you have it. I'm going to just raise my camera. That's how I package them. Now, you know what? I I haven't actually um, been in a craft sale for a while and I haven't sold a lot of dishcloths um recently because I've been so focused on my knitting, but I used to sell like I'm, I can't even tell you how many of dishcloths I've sold in different patterns. I have many different patterns that I do. Um, and eventually I'll get more patterns on my channel. Um, but generally how I used to do it is I would put two colored ones on the outside and I'd put a solid white one on the inside that's a different patterning. Um, but uh, if I am to do any more craft sales, which I hope to do one every um, every fall, I just want to do one. Um, or if I, it, when I sell these just individually by word of mouth, I'm going to now start selling them in packages of two. 
okay and that's how I'm going to package them but if you want to do three this label fits on that and just put a white one in the middle and it just breaks it up and makes it look so beautiful okay so there you have it that's how I do it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial my friends thanks again for joining me thanks for trusting me to bring you good videos and for trusting my work I appreciate that very much um, please hit that like button uh, if you haven't done so already and um, subscribe, come on over to my Facebook group, Koala Knits and Knacks, and show us your projects. Show us um, your finished work. We would love to, to see. We'd love to have you take part in that group as well. So um, thanks again, my friends. You do take good care of yourself and have a great day.